For several years, Formula One has considered changing race formats to make Grand Prix more exciting. In 2021, they introduced sprint qualifying, a race that determines the starting grid for Sunday's GP and lasts 60 miles instead of the usual 190 miles. And with sprint qualifying proving to be a success commercially, there have been rumours of a future reverse grid race. Reverse grid racing isn't something new. It's been previously used in F2, F3 and other junior racing series. In F2 in 2021, the grid for the first sprint race was set by reversing the top 10 qualifying positions. The grid for the second race was formed by results of the first sprint race, with the top 10 finishers reversed. However, in Formula 1, it's likely the order of start positions for sprint qualifying would be flipped based on the pre-race championship positions, meaning the driver in first would begin in last and so forth. In 2020, the idea of reverse grid racing was vetoed. However, rumours started again following Lewis Hamilton's spectacular performance in the 2021 Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Hamilton finished fifth in sprint qualifying, despite starting the session in 20th, having been disqualified from qualifying. The spectacle of Hamilton's surge proved to be a hit with fans, and the likes of Ross Braun and Ferrari suggested F1 may want to reconsider a more permanent reverse grid format. However, one man totally against the idea of reverse grids is former world champion Alan Prost. Defending the traditional system, Prost told in the Fastlane podcast, I am completely against the reverse grid idea for sure. Formula One should not accept that, even for the sprint. It's not because Lewis has done a fantastic race, starting from last, that we should think that it's going to be the same every time and with every driver. That does not happen like this, so I am much more for the tradition and Formula One has to stay the way it did. I must recognise that we have more and more young fans, with the Netflix series, and we have attracted some young people which is fantastic. And they obviously like this kind of race that we have seen, the sprint race and Lewis's race in Brazil, but Formula One has to stay more traditional. What do you think about reverse grid racing in Formula 1? Are you for or against it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time.